Hey, what's going on, family? Uh, God dropped something in my spirit, and I'd like to share it with you tonight. Yeah, you'll find it in 2 Samuel chapter 22, verses 2 through 3. And this is King David speaking here. And David declares that the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. And then he says, the God of my rock in him will I trust. Now, there's something about trusting God. Because trust in God simply implies that I believe that God has my best interest at heart, even if I don't have to say so. So I understand that David believed it. That's why he declared that the Lord is my rock, which means that God is his foundation and his stability. Then he said that the Lord is my fortress, which means that he's his refuge in time of trouble. And then he said that God is my deliverer, which means that when the enemy is in pursuit, God has his hedge and his hand all around him. But I love it when he gets to the third verse. For David declares that the God of my rock, he personalizes it in him, will I trust. So without a shadow of a doubt, David understands that he can trust God with everything. That he can trust God with his kingdom. He can trust God with his finances. He can trust God with his health. And most importantly, he can trust God with his life and his soul. So the question is, after God has been your rock, after he's been your fortress, and after he's been your deliverer, and after he's blessed you with finances, he's blessed you with a relationship, he's blessed you with mental stability, and he's blessed you with a life, the question is, can God trust you with it all? God bless you.